morning, Don. This could be the start of a beautiful friendship, mate. <laughs> mate, I, I very much appreciated your comments this morning. Um, we're on opposite sides of the political fence, but I thought your comments were very reasonable indeed. What's so unusual about that? Why are you surprised? Um, because uh, people who are somewhat of the left uh, generally uh, don't seem to be able to find common ground with with people. Uh, you know, it's either their way or the highway. Right. It's funny though. Uh, mate, um, I, I thought his comments were were reasonable. I wish he would uh, cut out some of the hand gestures. If that, uh, it's probably not going to happen. But mate, I wish, for the sake of the world, I wish he dropped dead. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I think he's an evil bastard. Uh, well, we we discussed the state of the world after eight years of Obama, and I, I, you know, on one level, I don't know that it can get much worse. It could, it could, but we, we've gone from um, Iraq. Obama and Biden said that they, as they drew, uh, pulled the troops out, that they thought that Iraq was going to be one of the success stories of their administration. And of course, we saw what happened to Iraq after they pulled out the American troops. Well, we saw what was happening to Iraq while they were there. So well, it makes very little difference. Um, apparently, uh, while they got off to a very uh, unfortunate start, it, it stabilised. And of course, 90% of Democrats voted in Congress for the incursion into Iraq. That doesn't interest me at all. <laughs> all I know is that it's been a bloody disaster from beginning to end. Good on you, Don. Thanks very much.